about the match. I make fires over the night. I use my blood for the ink, and I use practical structure paper for the background. Yeah, don't go that far into detail. So we're going to film. You guys are going to go to the first class to get revenge on the officers. Whoa, no. They're not going to hurt the officers. The officers were just doing their job. Oh. Okay, so what's the catch? Do you want us to get arrested? Um, no. I'm leaving these disguises. And last night, I, um, yesterday, I stole some markers from the first class. And we could draw them as such as that beard on her face. Okay. Late, uh, late afternoon on the RMS Titanic, Mr. Charles is in the diner looking for the biggest celebrity on the ship, Mr. Thomas Andrews. Hi, Charles. I was looking for you. Okay, what do you need? Well, there's a great singer on the ship named Layla. She's high class and she's worked for the famous orchestra. Lovely. Can you put on one of her songs so I can listen to her voice? Yes, of course. Hey, no, in my dreams, I see. Oh, wow, it's great, but I want to know a little more about her. Well, she's 35, and her room number is 2 on the first class, and you can probably go ask her more questions. Thanks, mate. Yup, of course. <laughs> Frank and the boxers disguise themselves and go to first class. Hey you! It's that group again! I already told you to get out and stay out of here! If I were third class, why would I be wearing this fake, I mean mustache? May I please have your names? Uh, 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 I'm Jacob, and this is John, and this is Frank. Wait here one second. Wild and Moody turned around and started talking. Those mustaches look pretty cool. They I, must be first class. I agree, boss. Should we let them pass? Uh, they can pass. You may pass. job ever. Day one, no iceberg. Day two, ooh, a whale, but no iceberg. Oh no, I ran out of steak. Charles, I ran out of steak. Frederick. Well, are you going to get me my steak? Fine, one second. Here, Freddy. Thanks, Charles. Yum, steak. Ooh, a bird. Dang it, mistake. Elizabeth was walking on the Titanic and a piece of steak fell on her head. What the? Oh no, it's raining cow. No! Elizabeth starts running and goes to the captain. Yes. 
Yes, sir. I'm gonna bring a bucket just in case. Good idea. Don't you guys see? The ship will sink. Don't worry. Remember, the ship is unsinkable. Fine. When you guys die, remember, I warned you. Oh, shoot. Okay, start over again. Never mind. Put it back. Sorry. Uh, uh, ladle out of the seat. Up team, leave it. Okay, just take it from here. Ready, set, go. Hey, you're not allowed to do that. Why are you doing that? Guys, get this intruder messing up the carpet. Please, please, don't call the guards. I'm sorry. I was just getting fabric for my new dress. Fabric? Yes, fabric. I'm making a dress. Add a carpet. Okay, that's really gonna itch. Anyways, I like your dress. Who made it? It won't itch the way I do it. Um, I think I'm wearing myself. No! I mean the dress! Is everyone confused or something? Oh, I made it myself. Do you like it? Can you make me one? I'm a spoiled pepper singer who always needs dresses. Sure, you know I'm actually looking for a job. Could I be your one-of-a-kind designer? <laughs> Did someone call me? Never mind. <sighs> Anyways, yes, you start right now. Give me a non-fat mocha latte with homemade whipped cream <laughs> and caramel and chocolate around the cup, some cookies inside, and a cherry on top. Oh, and a side of caviar. Oh, and buy a little something for yourself. Just for information now, I said I'm a designer, not a maid. Oh, sorry. How may I pay you? Mmm, let me think. Money, food, fabric, fame, and a brush. Done. Father! That is a girl from last night, Elizabeth. Why is she running? Wait up! Elizabeth comes running towards the boxers like a crazy maniac. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Elizabeth, you're so clumsy. John picks up one flyer. You guys are boxers and you will you guys will have a boxing match in two days on the Titanic? Yeah, you guys wanna come? Who's training you? We are men and we can train ourselves. I breed racehorses and it will be perfect to train you. I can train the guy in the red shirt. Okay, I will train the blonde guy. From a long distance, Layla sees three men in raggedy suits wearing fake mustaches. Hey, officers, get these third class, these three third class guns out of here. Boxers get caught by Moody and Frank gets away. Gotcha. But I was the one that caught the two boxers. Remember, I'm your boss. And what does that mean? You get all the glory. Boxers get escorted back to third class. And they will lock all third class. Hey, Moody, bring me the 100-pound door. Why? Because I'm your boss, and that means you need to bring me the door. I'll bring it. Just please don't yell at me. Moody brings well to his door. This door is useless. Wiles replaces the wooden door with an iron door. Late afternoon on the RMS Titanic, Mr. Thomas Andrews was going, leaving the front deck to go to his room when he sees flyers saying, Leslie and Andy's epic match. Oh no, I should take all these down before Elizabeth knows. Hi Dad, what are you doing? Nothing sweetie, I'm just hugging the wall. Okay then, did you hear about third class's boxing match? No, but you're not going. Why not? My dream is to go to a boxing match in third class. Please. Sorry, sweetheart, but no. Why can't you just be like the father that I love? Because you're my daughter and you need to be fancy like me and your mother. Ugh, you're so mean. I just want to... Ugh.
Why is your why is that stake on your head? Because it fell on my head, and I think it's a bad omen, and the ship is gonna sink. Ah! I have a great idea. I have to go tell her this. Thomas, wait up! Yes, ma'am. Get your fancy pants on. We need to go sing at the boxing match. Before you go and do all your stuff, here's a ticket for you and your daughter. Thanks, Miss Layla. I got to go tell her this news. <laughs> Let's go practice. 